Welcome back to another Test Subjects Tools of the Trade video. This is Greg, I'm Bizarro, and yes, every shirt I own has a skull or a ribcage on it. So we like to wire things as much as possible. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more of a pain in the ass, it's a little bit more hands-on, but it's also a lot more reliable. Unless somebody accidentally drills a, a screw into one of the wires. Well, shut up, man. That was, uh... Uh, so we end up running a lot of wires through walls. Sometimes it's easier than others, depending on the wall. And we have found the Magnet Pole 9000. Dun, dun, dun. How many feet of uh, wire have How much is in a box? Uh, 500 feet. Through yeah. four, four boxes. So. Yeah. Anyway, I've run a lot of freaking wire. Yeah. And he loves it. So when you cut a hole in drywall and you have to run something through, if there is no insulation in the drywall, wire doesn't usually have enough weight to it to get down where you need it to be. So one of the things that comes in the magnet pole, it's just a nice little chain. Uh, this chain grabs everything. Everything. But it's not a bug, it's a feature. It's, I think it's supposed to, that way you don't lose it in the wall, like, you almost have and I kind of did. Yeah. So yeah, so this will grab drywall, this will grab metal and everything like that. This is made out of Indiana Jones's whip. That's how <laughs> grippy this thing is. You still want to tape this down or, or anchor it somehow so it doesn't just disappear. The easiest way for me to do it when I was running wire was to actually take the wire, tie it into a knot, over the chain. But you would do this at the end, not the middle. I know, I actually like the middle. I know. Oh, yeah. I, like, I like to go this way just because I think it's got more weight going down mm. the wall this way and I can hear it better because I can hear the jingling. This last build was actually much nicer because I could line the holes up and I could just get my finger in. This is the actual, one of the actual magnets that comes in the magnet pole. This is the wand, as they call it. So once this is in the wall, let's say you can't get to the, uh, the drill hole you made, you can't find it, whatever, you, it didn't line up right. This is uh, got a magnet on the end of this A door. very powerful magnet. Don't put it near your wallet. You can see now I have gripped it over on that side and I can, well, it's hard with three hands. <laughs> <laughs> Go left and right with it. You can see it going left and right. It's, uh, yeah. And work it down into the hole that I have drilled at the bottom. This grabs in and I pull it through the wall and now we've run our wire. Now that's great, but what if there appears to be a family of sheepdogs uh, living in a wall? Uh, otherwise known as ridiculous amounts of insulation. Insulation. Uh, insulation. Even with like fish tape or a wire running it through, it's 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 a pain. So the makers of the Magnet Pull 5000 and <laughs> Oh, it's gone down. Yeah, it's <laughs> inflation. They include the bullet. The magic bullet. The magic bullet. Yes. Uh, which means it goes through, back into the right, left. And it goes through multiple... Uh, <laughs> yes. We're old. This is for running it through insulation. Insulation. Insulation is when you're more likely going to get hung up and have to pull back or and lose, something. lose something. You need to be very aware of where the studs and walls are because they're made of metal. This is a stud finder. You can That's just sit true. there. Look, look, we found one. Ooh, hack joke. Well, you would run this through the walls, the, uh, along the wall like this, and then you can feel where the studs are, which is nice. With so that. just be aware when you're dealing with things like this that there will be, it'll be grabbing things. So just make sure your holes are not near... Just don't put it next to the stud if you can help it. If you can help it. This part of the bullet is also an insanely strong magnet. Mm -hmm. So when you combine that strong magnet with this strong magnet... And just imagine this is full of insulation, but yeah. it's, it stops at nothing! No, yeah, sometimes no. you have to work it up yeah, and you, down, yeah. You gotta work it up and down to basically... And sometimes you have to start completely over. Uh, and then the fun part is trying to pull these things apart. This thing will, these will stick to everything. Yes. And sometimes you'll just lose them because you'll be like, oh, I'm gonna put on this door frame, wham. And then you get down, you leave, and all then, where is the tool? Yeah. This, was my, this was my favorite sarcastic thing about the tool. I'd be up on a ladder, and then I would set this down on top of the ladder, where all my screws were, and it would do this. And it turns into a mace. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have to say this, but I'm going to. Uh, you really only want to be running low power wires through walls. Don't be running AC voltage wires through walls with this or anything, quite frankly, because unless you're a certified electrician and know what you're doing, that's a bad thing. Plenum rated uh, shielded cabling. That's, that's right. That's what we use. This has been insanely handy. I don't know what you paid for it. Uh, they're about 100 to 125 bucks, depending where you get them from. Where'd you get it at? Uh, this one I either got on Amazon or eBay, uh, you can, but you can get them from the website and they have a bunch of other little tools and stuff like that. This has made our life much easier. Yes, uh, and it will make yours just as well. 